This is News Trail, your daily dose. Welcome to News Trail. This Monday, 11th September 2023, I am Adetola Kayode. President Bola Tinubu has met with President Joe Biden on the sidelines of the G20 summit where he commended him for providing strong leadership as the chair of the Economic Community of West African States ECOWAS. Biden hailed the commitment of his Nigerian counterpart in the defense and preservation of democracy in Kuton, Niger Republic and the West African sub-region. The G20 summit in New Delhi, India provided President Biden the opportunity to arrange Enforce U.S.'s enduring commitment to Nigeria, acknowledging the Tinubu administration's steps to reforming Nigeria's economy with its recent policies. Nigeria's invitation to the G20 summit is a recognition of Nigeria's important global role as Africa's largest democracy and economy. Meanwhile, President Tinubu has arrived at Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates, where he will be interfacing with the country's leadership on diplomatic issues. The Sanwolu administration in Lagos State is committed to the advancement and cooperation of all southwestern states via the development agenda for Western Nigeria Dawn. The newly appointed special advisor to the Lagos State Governor on Dawn, Lanre Sumio Desoya, reiterated the governor's quest when he paid a working visit to the commission's headquarters in the ancient city of Ibadan. Odesoya identified key areas in which the Lagos State government will be focusing on to help stimulate growth across the southwestern bloc. They include facilitating efficient transportation for goods and the people, engineering agricultural chain and productivity, plus promoting unity, development and prosperity in the region. Director General of Don Sheyeo Yeleya welcomed the new appointee, highlighting the pivotal role Lagos plays not only in the region but the entire country. He says the commission is committed to serving as a vantage point and primary resource for southwest states. The Dawn Commission is a regional development agency focused on southwestern states. Official duties have begun less than 24 hours after Governor Roti Miyakere Dulu returned from a three-month medical vacation in Germany. This is contrary to speculations that Governor Akere Dulu was going to spend some days to rest in Ibadan, your state, before writing to the Assembly. Arakuni Akere Dulu signed the bill creating 33 local council development areas into law, which was passed by the Assembly while the Governor was on vacation. Reports say the bill was not presented before the acting governor Lucky Ayedatiwa because of the need to appoint caretaker chairman for the new councils. Announcement of caretaker committees for the newly created councils may come later in the week. The president of the Spanish Football Federation, Luis Rubiales, has resigned following criticism for kissing Spain forward Jenny Hermoso at the Women's World Cup final presentation ceremony. 33-year-old Hermoso said the kiss after Spain beat England was not consensual and she filed a legal complaint last Tuesday. Rubiales said he had submitted his resignation to the Federation acting president Pedro Rocha, acknowledging that he cannot continue his job during a television interview. View. The 46-year-old has also resigned from his position as vice president of UFS Executive Committee. The fallout from the case engulfed Spanish football in recent weeks and overshadowed Spain's World Cup win, with Rubiales ignoring repeated calls to resign. And that's it on News Trail for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, News Trail. And always remember to be the best you can wherever you can. Have a fantastic week.